Well, the solution for your inflation blues may be right under your nose. They're unused gift cards. Nearly half of us have at least one gift card in all. Creditcard.com estimates there are 21 billion, yes, with a B, in unused gift cards. But the good news, seven on your side, Zanina Pineda has seven tips to get the most out of your gift card glut. And Amazon, eight. How many do you have? I have a I tied consumer expert Andrea Warlock for how many unused gift cards we were both carrying around. The truth is right now with inflation surging, a lot of people would do better with the cash in their pocket rather than a gift card. The national average is 175 bucks per person collecting dust. Turn yours into dollars by swapping or selling them. So there are different resale sites like raise.com, cardcash.com. None of these sites are gonna give you 100% of the value because then they resell them to other shoppers. So they have to have some margin room to make a profit on that sale. Remember, it's the nationwide popular restaurants and stores that are gonna fetch you the most money. But these sites are all competing for your cash. So shop around and see who's gonna give you the best offer. Offers should range between 70 and 92% of the value of the card, so it's important to know how much is on it. Giftcardgranny.com has a valuation tool. Just enter in the details. And it will tell you the exact amount that's left on that card if you've used it before or if you just didn't know how much was gifted to you in the first place. If you're swapping and buying another card, Andrea suggests stacking your savings. And here's how she does it. She traded for a discount gap gift card on raise.com. Worth $50, she got it for $42, then used a code from coupon follow for another 15% off. An additional savings of $6.33. The total she saved was over 14 bucks. Next tip, take a picture of the gift card as soon as you receive it. Select it as a favorite photo so you can easily find it and readily use it online or at checkout. Make sure you're scratching off that little, you know, special code because you're gonna need that for checkout. If you're not using your cards, consider donating them to a local charity or re-gift them. Just make sure that you're not re-gifting a gift card to somebody who gave it to you in the first place. To avoid that faux pas, we decided to write down giver's initials on all of our unused cards. 